Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh... He's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Oh, well, I can. He's in his tent. Sure. I'll wait for you here. Hello? Come in. Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Yeah. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. Yeah. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? And people who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. In any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> <coughs> good. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch... <sighs> I gotta try. I own that, at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... You saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. But it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. 
Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others. Jose. <laughs> Jose, Lenny, Sean, all them. They didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Yep. Yeah. Sneaking in there. The rainfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Fine. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. We'll try and find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards up front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Oh, I know. Okay, well, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stick to the wall. right above us. He's moving. Come on. Four. You take one, I got the other. Good. Just a bit further on here. This is the spot.
shot on him. Okay. Quick, this way. Come on. Another one up ahead. Should be just down here. Damn it. There's more out front. Go up the tower, see if you can cause a distraction. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that, he... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Oh, whoa, no. whoa. I'm fine, I'm fine.
paid for this. The wish they killed me when they had a chance. Let's just give you a safety first. Like Dutch said. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. <sighs> yeah. Two still here. Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vanderlyn! Mr. Morgan! Charles! They try to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us. Ride with us against the factory. I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. 
My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do, Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Hey, that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose, because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now, come on. Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No, go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on! Help these men. And anyone see eagle flies? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. 
The rest of you ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Yeah! Let's ride! by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get them.
So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. I got some cash. Not much. I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a... A few thousand dollars worth? Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job? But well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. 
Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to what PD as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch... Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and... We couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... some reason to. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is. I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Whoa, whoa! Your friend here? My friend? He's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north, wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. As Eagle finds. Yeah, it's the chief's son. I think he's been shot. Oh, no. He is wounded. Bring him to me. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. 
Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Sie haben uns gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well, but we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning, we take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more train. That was a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. 
We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go! Yeah! Outside of Saint Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into Saint Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Watch out! Okay, it's in the back. So listen, Abigail just told me, the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah, so much for never hiding it near camp. The Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Like she is, 
I could just see her, the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, Saint Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet, all of you. Not much further now. Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well... Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this? Of course we are!
move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha! Ha! 